Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to Swedish Air Force's Rank 5 tutorial and guide. In this episode I will give you an overview of every individual plane in Rank 5 and after going through them I will guide you through possible grind sequences and potential targets for the talismans. The premiums will also be looked at in this episode as there is only one. Although the footage is RB, this guide will still be useful for other modes as well. I hope this will be a valuable resource for you and will help you in your decision making as you go through the tree. Make sure to give me your feedback in the comments below and do check the description box for the timestamps and the links to my in-depth video reviews of these planes. To start the show off we're looking at the J21RA sitting at 6.7 battle rating. The plane sits right here in the tech tree right behind the Swedish Mustang and at a 6.7 battle rating. She seems to sit quite good but this plane well <laughs> we'll get into it. The armor protection seems quite decent with 10 mm steel plates on both sides for the pilot and a nice bulletproof glass here of 60 mm which is nice. You have the X-ray here with fuel tanks all fairly close to the middle here. You have an outer pair with 325 rounds, inner pair of 12.7 uh, Akons. Where's my 13.2 Akons by the way? 350 rounds on this uh, inner pair, nose pair. And you have a 20 millimeter with 140 rounds, almost the same armament. But why did they take the 13.2s out here? I don't understand. Anyway, let's have a look. Ah, the J21RA. What a painful plane to fly this is. Uh, I mean, this is not a great start to the Swedish line. You might get discouraged. <laughs> or I say you will get discouraged. 6.7 battle rating. What are the strings in this jet? The maneuverability. She is a prop frame with a jet engine and uh, she is quite maneuverable compared to other jets. So there is that. You can use her as a turn fighter. And uh, the maneuverability definitely is a strength. You, you will outmaneuver most enemy fighters. The offensive guns is not something I wanted to mention as a strength but also not as a weakness. But it's still something I have to mention because there is no 13.2 millimeter machine guns like in the props. Very efficient, those 13.2s. There's 12.7 millimeter machine guns in this one, and they are lacking compared to the 13.2s. And that is a shame in the jet age because you want that efficiency. So, very um, unfortunate that those 13.2s are not in here. What are the actual weaknesses in this plane? The speed is the first one to look at. She's not fast, she has a red line at 749, and she rips. 50 kilometers an hour after that so before 800 kilometers an hour she rips that is slow in a jet and uh, you you can actually rip her already at 680 in a dive when you move a little bit so yeah it's actually terrible the speeds in this plane she is uh, probably one of the slowest planes out there and uh, you got to keep that in mind the dive performance does is also a main weakness in this plane you can rip her early, you're never secure in that dive. You get warnings all over the place that you need to reduce your speed and um, you are at risk in a dive. And uh, that is not a very nice feeling when you fly a plane. The underpowered engine is the third main weakness. The jet engine that they put in this plane is very weak. It doesn't have a lot of push on her and you're slow. It, it affects the performance. The energy retention isn't great. The acceleration isn't great and you are thus very lacking. Once you lose your speed you are difficult to regain it and, and that is not nice. Makes it very um, susceptible to faults. If you make a mistake in this plane you're often punished for it. Unforgiving we would say. What is the flight style in this plane? Well she's a turn fighter. That is the only role she can perform. You cannot boom and zoom because of the lacking top speeds in a dive and the rippability of the plane. And you cannot energy fight in it because of the underpowered engine. So you have a major problem in this plane. So you can only turn fight, lure people in, get them slow. And you will defeat them in a turn fight. But how many people will do that? <laughs> Question. Is she competitive? No. No. She's not competitive at all. There is very few planes that uh, she can outperform. And uh, yeah, it's a terrible plane. 
What is the fun factor in this plane? Well, I would say very low with an exclamation mark. It is uh, not fun to fly this plane. It is blood, sweat and tears and uh, with an emphasis on tears. Uh, very frustrating plane to fly. Is she recommended? No, my recommendation for this plane is low. I would skip it. I would stick to the props until you get to the... Um, maybe the vampire. <laughs> uh, that is the best jet in rank 5. Let me already give that away. But uh, this plane, definitely skip it. Don't fly this plane if you can help it. So after the J21RA, we are looking at the J21A sitting, well, right after it, right here. 7.7 .7 battle rating. The second fighter in the main fighter line in rank 5. And let's see what she has to offer. She has a little bit of pilot protection as well in front and behind with a bullet Roof glass 64 millimeters that seems all in order we have the fuel tanks here it's very centralized nothing in the wing so you need to be hit in the fuselage for those potential fires you have 20 millimeter archons four of them with 180 rounds very centralized in the bottom part of the plane there and uh, yeah she's a nice stubby looking plane but is she good let's have a look Ah, the J29A, guys, after the RA, uh, this one, bloody hell, man. It's another plane that you think, why is this lacking so much? It is not a great plane, the J21A. Very far from it. It doesn't have many strings either. What are the strings in this plane, you would ask? Well, I would say the durability. I've been shot at in this plane a lot. You get a lot uh, that you get pushed into the defensive, and the durability is nice. She can take quite a bit of damage. She seems to be a sturdy plane and the survivability in this plane is nice. So there is that. The roll rate is another one. When defensive flying, the roll rate will help you to force some overshoots and stuff like that. Now there is other planes that can uh, roll like this, but uh, she can compete when it comes to the roll rate. So those two things are definitely strings. The offensive guns definitely are not a strength. They, you, it has four 20 millimeters, and you would say that is a, that is a strength, right? Well, I get a lot of hit and miss with these planes, a lot of hits and a lot of crits where I would have expected a kill, and they seem to be a little bit lackluster. These the um, the effect of the 20 millimeters in this plane. Uh, what are the real weaknesses in this plane? Well, the speed is one. She uh, seems to have okay speeds on the stat card, but in reality, you don't reach those speeds very much because of the lacking performance. She has an, an, a, an engine that is not too powerful and at a 7.7 .7 battle rating, she's definitely lacking in performance and thus you will not reach the speeds that this plane can handle a lot in game. And that is unfortunate. The turn time in the plane is also extremely bad. She cannot compete with most planes at this battle rating in the turn rate and that is a problem sometimes when you um, are in turn fights <laughs> so try to avoid them what is the flight style in this plane actually well it's mainly boom and zooming as he can reach those speeds with a lot of patience um, you got to keep her in straight lines got to keep boom and zooming long swooping runs where you lose the minimum amount of, uh, of speed because if you lose speed uh, against most other planes they will be able to catch onto you quicker because the acceleration on most of its competition is better than this one so be aware of that just strict boom and zooming in this plane if you have the flyer is she competitive no she is definitely not competitive not even as a boom and zoomer because of the performance in this plane there's other planes that can recover quicker this plane is very unforgiving it is not very nice for a beginning pilot to fly this plane she will not help you win even if you're good and uh, yeah i would uh, advise you to stay away from this plane as he is also a low fun factor there's a lot of frustration in this plane also with the guns giving you crits and hits very often and uh, that, that makes it frustrating as hell and that is not very good for the fun factor guys it is also not good for my recommendation can i recommend this plane after the uh, low recommendation in the J21RA. I have to give this one a low recommendation as well. Uh, this plane at a 7.7 .7 battle rating, as I said, seems to be getting a lot of up tiers. Well, in the up tiers, she is done. 
with from the start 7.7 .7 battle rating you get 8.7 planes against you with 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 missiles and stuff forget about it and uh, at her own battle rating forget about it as well <laughs> he's not good guys uh, leave this plane alone if you can So we're looking at the A21RB, the first plane in the interceptor slash heavy fighter line. And uh, she's 6.7 as well, just like her younger sister, the uh, RA there. This plane is uh, much better than the RA and uh, she has a better engine and thus performs uh, better, which is, uh, which is nice. She has the same armor protection with a bulletproof glass there as well. And the fuel tanks, same setup with the guns as well, um, right here. I'm still missing those 13.2s. <laughs> 20 millimeter there with 140 rounds. And we have fuel tanks in the wingtips there, by the way. We do have that on this plane, so that is a distinct difference. But for the rest, she's quite similar, but she is much better in every respect. Well, take a look. Ah, the A21RB, this is the first decent plane in rank 5 Sweden. If you have to fly anything, I would skip the whole main fighter line and I would focus on this plane to start off with. This plane also 6.7 battle rating, a better engine than the J21RA and thus uh, immediately a lot better. She has better speeds on her and... Um, just better performance and that, is, that just makes life so much more interesting. <laughs> what are the strengths in this plane? Well, I would also say the maneuverability is the main strength in this plane. She has five guns just like the RA, but uh, again, the 13.2s are not here. They have 12.7 machine guns in here and they are a lot less efficient than the 13.2s. I don't know what the hell was wrong with him. With them to take the 13.2s out but um, or maybe they're just worse in uh, in war thunder and not in reality maybe these guns were better in reality but in war thunder uh, it's a downgrade absolutely well, what are the weaknesses in the plane the speed still is a weakness you still have has the rip ability it is not much better in this plane uh, dive performance also not much better She's still a bit lacking in that department, but um, yeah, she uh, compensates in that in the uh, engine performance, which is no longer a weakness. It is now it's not a strength either, but it is at least it's not a weakness. You you have a, a functioning um, engine that will give you some acceleration, and uh, the energy retention isn't isn't better either. So there is that, but the acceleration, especially. Getting your speed back once you get slow uh, makes the plane a bit more forgiving and, and that is nice to have in this plane. The flight style is still turn fighting but she can uh, do some acceptable energy fighting now with this better engine. And it's still not an excelling energy fighter but as I said it makes her much better really. The, the, the up in performance that you get from it is noticeable. And you will get much better performance in this plane compared to the RA. Is she competitive, you would ask? I would say yes. Not with a question mark, not just. Now this plane is actually competitive. I got a 2 to 1 kill death ratio, where I, in the RA, barely got a 1 to 1 kill death ratio. And um, yes, it, it is <laughs> what an engine can do, right? Yeah. What is the fun factor in this plane? Well, it's medium. It is still not the best plane. I mean, uh, she, but she actually can compete now. And, and that is a boon in the Swedish rank 5, apparently, which is one of the weakest rank 5s out there, I would say. This plane has a medium fun factor. She uh, also has a medium recommendation from me. This plane is acceptable. This is the first Swedish plane that is acceptable, that you can do some competing in, that you can feel confident in, even though she has still some main weaknesses with the dive speed, the rip ability and stuff like that. Um, this plane gives you the opportunity to compete. And thank you. <laughs> That's what we wanted, right? I mean, uh, bloody hell, give me a plane in it w that I can do something in. And uh, this plane definitely does that. So, uh, yeah. So we have arrived at the Vampire, the J28B, sitting at 7.3 
battle rating in the line right here after the uh, A21RB. She is a fantastic second fighter in the uh, interceptor line or the second fighter line, however you want to call it. This is the duel of uh, rank 5 Sweden. She has some armor protection in there. A little bit less than the other plane, so you, you, your pilot is a little bit more vulnerable, especially from the front. The X-ray, you do have much more fuel tanks in the wings and spread out, so you are a little bit more um, in danger of fires. You have the gun set up here for 20 mm with 150 rounds per gun. A little bit less ammo, but these guns seem way more effective. You do have some rocket options in this one, but um, yeah. This is a nice plane, let's have a look at her. Ah guys, we arrive at the J21B, the Swedish Vampire. <laughs> yes, 7.3 battle rating. This is the best plane in rank 5 Sweden without competition. By far the best plane in this rank. And what a joy she is to fly. Immediately you're getting kills, immediately you get performance. And uh, yeah, fantastic plane. What are the strengths in the Vampire? The offensive guns. When you, after flying all these Swedish jets, you get the uh, offensive guns on this uh, Vampire and they are much more efficient, much more effective and uh, they just evaporate planes. That's what the feeling you get after flying all these other Swedish jets. So fantastic, workable offensive guns. Four of them, fantastic. The maneuverability is also a definite strength in the Vampire. She's very maneuverable. She can compete. Maybe the only thing that really outshines her all the time is the, the Ho 229. But this plane is very maneuverable and uh, can definitely outturn much of the competition. The performance is good. She has a good engine in her and uh, performs very nicely. And the energy retention is, uh, is good as well. Uh, better than the... Um, the A21 and the J21, so there is that, and uh, the acceleration because of this better engine is very acceptable. So uh, yeah, very nice. She can also perform as an energy fighter because of that. Uh, uh, next to all that, she's also durable. She can take quite a bit of damage. Has a sturdy frame on her, and uh, the survivability is nice in the Vampire. Absolutely. Are there any weaknesses to the J28B? Well, there is the speed. The Vampire is not the fastest plane and um, unfortunately <laughs> if you would have that she would be uh, fantastic. No, she, uh, the, the, she's a slow plane, a slow jet and um, she's definitely uh, underperforming there compared to the competition so you got to keep that in mind. This is not a fast plane. What is the flight style in the Vampire? She is a turn fighter and an energy fighter. So you can do both roles very well. Uh, you cannot boom and zoom with it. Well you can short runs but as I said she's not the fastest plane so in long dives you will lose and uh, that makes her less efficient as a boom and zoomer so her main flight style would go I would start from an energy fighting role and turn fight if you have to is she competitive yes with an exclamation mark this plane is very competitive it is uh, a very good plane and uh, yeah I enjoyed this plane very much after flying those three first Swedish uh, jets uh, when I flew this, I got my, uh, <laughs> I got my self-confidence back. I was like, oh my god, yeah, finally. It wasn't me after all. Bloody hell. This plane uh, netted me a lot of kills in, uh, and uh, a lot of joy in the matches that I flew her. Fun factor, hi thus. Um, a lot of fun to be had in this plane. She can energy fight well, she can turn fight, and she can make small, short boom and zoom runs. Uh, quite nice. Is she recommended? Yes, she, is, she comes highly recommended for me. Especially in the Swedish line which has very lacking jets in it and with the Vampire basically being the crown jewel of the Swedish rank 5. The best plane there is in this rank and uh, you got to fly this plane to get to rank 6 where it becomes better from what I've heard but we'll, we'll have to look at that. But this is definitely the plane you want to, uh, you want to be in uh, throughout this rank. Get to the Vampire and stay there. So we arrive at the JA-29B, sitting after the Vampire, the last plane in the Interceptor line. Uh, 8.0 battle rating, that's quite a jump up and um, well, she does have some armor protection again. The pilot is quite secure from the front and behind, nothing from the side of course. 
and uh, you have the same set up some extra fuel tanks right here you have the gun setups here with 180 rounds per gun which is quite nice and this plane also of course has the attacking rocket options as this is the attacker line of course yes so let's have a look at this plane and see what she's got so we're looking at the JA-29B, possibly the worst plane in rank 5, Sweden if you want to believe it, mainly because of the battle rating, 8.0 battle rating on this plane. She doesn't uh, have much differences to the J-29A when it comes to performance, frame and, and all that jazz, but uh, she does have ground pounding options, so that makes her more efficient for uh, ground pounding rolls. But uh, to make her 8.0 for that, I don't know, man. What are the strengths in this plane? Well, the durability. She can take uh, quite a bit of damage. She seems very um, durable. She has a lot of survivability in it. Good pilot protection. You don't get a lot of pilot snipes. So, yeah, durability are a strength for this plane. The roll rate also is nice. In defensive flying, in which you will find yourself often, uh, the roll rate helps you to make overshoots and happen and uh, potentially try to get... Uh, the reversal done um so yeah there is that that is good what are the weaknesses in this plane well the guns like the a are very hit and miss not very nice but i wouldn't call it uh, a weakness but uh, still there is that the speed is a main weakness she's slow she, she takes uh, a lot of time to wind up and in a general performance area when you when you use when you look at the speeds that she actually often is at in the game that is a weakness that is due to the performance of the engine. She has uh, lacking performance, doesn't accelerate very well, takes a long time to wind her up, and it is uh, very difficult to keep the speed because she doesn't have great energy retention either. Uh, turn time is also very lacking. Um, in a, in a straight-up turn fight, she loses against most of the jets she will face. Terrible in up tiers when it comes to that. What is the flight style in this plane? Well, she is a boom and zoomer. Uh, mainly for air RB, you gotta stick to boom and zooming. Try to wind her up as best you can and try to lose as little speed as you can. Tr keep her as fast as possible and hope that the guns give you an effective outcome of an encounter and not a crit or a hit as I often get with this plane. He can also do close air support. That is a good thing in this plane. Like the Vampire can do a little bit of ground pounding and the uh, A21RB, although in those planes I would recommend it less because they are efficient in the fighter role. With this plane I would definitely recommend you to look at that uh, close air support role. If you play tank RB, this plane can be efficient there from what I've heard and that might be the only way to, f to use this plane because he's very lacking in any other role. Is she competitive? No, absolutely not. Uh, in air RB, she is not competitive. In ground RB, I wouldn't know. I do not play uh, ground RB, but she can fill a role there from what I've heard. So that's a maybe <laughs> in ground RB. But no, in air RB, she's not competitive. What is the fun factor in this plane? Well, it's low for me. I had a lot of frustration in this plane. This was a terrible plane, the worst plane for me in my performance. And... Uh, because of the 8.0 battle rating, you face 9.0 planes and um, you get up tiers, man. It's a nightmare in this plane. Is she recommended? No. Uh, you, this plane gets a low recommendation from me. I would recommend you to skip this plane, unlock her because you need to get to rank 6. But don't fly this plane. It is a waste of your time and it will save you some major frustration. So we're looking at the J29D, the premium and last plane of rank 5 Sweden, 8.7 battle rating, also the highest battle rating plane in rank 5 Sweden, quite the, the, the missile age era where we arrive at, and this plane has no missiles unfortunately. What she does have is four 30mm Akan M55 cannons, so there is that, she has the same armor protection as the other Joy J29 and she has the same setup fuel there we have the bigger guns of course here they stick out a little bit more look looks nice I have to say the 100 rounds per gun which is quite decent and you have the modification with some rockets there which is all right um yeah let's have a look at her uh, we're looking at the J29 D the last plane in rank 5 Sweden 
This is the premium plane, 8.7 beta rating. And um, well, it is uh, a little bit different. She has a 30 millimeter gun. So one of the strings in this plane are the offensive guns. 30 millimeters are much more efficient, much more effective than the 20s on these jets. And uh, I quite liked these guns. They have 100 rounds per gun, four of them and it makes uh, the firepower quite efficient on this plane. Uh, she is also very durable, so the durability in this plane is good. She can survive uh, quite a bit of damage and uh, she's, a, she's a sturdy little bugger when it comes to that. But this plane has an 8.7 battle rating as I mentioned and that is missile era, right? I mean, you get the spread up until 9.7 and um, well, what can we say? This plane doesn't have any missiles. He only has the 30 millimeters and um, that is quite lacking. Be in a jet age with uh, the missile age and you not having any missiles. What makes it one more, it makes it uh, a little bit more one dimensional. That can be an advantage. You know, you just have the guns, but not having missiles is a definite a weakness on this plane. So what are the other weaknesses next to not having missiles? The speed in this plane is still not very good. And uh, the performance is uh, a little better, but it's not... It, she makes a jump to 8.7. So the performance of this plane at 8.7 still isn't good. Well, she gets an afterburner. That makes it a little bit better. But um, I find the performance still lacking compared to some of the planes you will be facing. Uh, especially in up tiers, this plane is very lacking. But yeah, that's logical. But at her own battle rating, she is also outperformed by most of the planes you'll face. The turn time is still bad as well. Uh, she cannot last in a turn fight. You do have the roll rate, but at this battle rating, that also isn't a strength anymore. It's not a weakness either, but uh, the turn time definitely is. What is the flight style in this plane? Well, I would say still boom and zooming. This plane though also has close air support capability with uh, several rocket load options and you can take her into tank RB as well to wreak some havoc there with the 30s and with those rockets. But in air RB, go equipping the rockets makes the performance in this plane even worse and you will just get shot down. It, it is it's not very helpful in air RB. Is this plane competitive? No, definitely not. The rewards are nice on this plane and you will get through the ranks quicker. But uh, with the performance of the Vampire, if you put a Talisman on the Vampire, well, you know, debatable which one you should use. That's actually, it's not, but I'll get to that in the conclusion. <laughs> what is the fun factor in this plane? It is absolutely low. Not a high fun factor, very lacking without missiles in a missile age. It's not very nice at 8.7. Is she recommended? No, this plane gets a low recommendation for me. I would stay away from this plane and stick with the Vampire until you get to rank 6. Um, the vampire is supreme. Hey guys, you have arrived in the guide and tips section of this video. We are going to look at what is actually most efficient to get through this tree. This is the worst rank 5 that I have seen. Um, we haven't reviewed many yet, this is the first, but I have flown planes in all of the rank 5s. I have, I think, pretty much all except a few swifts. In the British line, uh, but this is this is very lacking, man. There's actually only one good plane in this whole rank, and that is the Vampire. This thing here, uh, 7.3 battle rating. She can do some close air support as well, uh, but I would use it as a fighter. She's a joy to fly as a fighter. She gives you the results that you miss in the other planes. Um, most planes are actually skippable here, uh, to be honest. I mean, the A21RB is a decent plane. And I can definitely recommend you to start with that. And then move to the uh, Vampire and just stick with the Vampire. There isn't anything else you should do in this rank. Is the J29D worth it? Well, she gives good rewards, but she's 8.7 in the missile age and she doesn't have any missiles. This is a disaster. And up tiers, she's absolutely outclassed. And at her own better rating, she can do a job, but she's severely lacking due to the lack of missiles. You can use her for ground pounding. She does have ground pounding options. 
but is not that spectacular what she has to offer. Uh, it is functional, she can do a job, but I would skip it. I, w I don't think this plane is worth uh, 50 euros, really. So skip this plane. Uh, stay with the Vampire if you want. That is also basically the only option for a Talisman, guys, in this whole rank. There's no bombers in this rank, so there's there's nothing much for um, for bomber pilots. If you want to do ground pounding, this is debatable. Uh, the Vampire has ground pounding options as well. Maybe that's even for that the best choice. But you can do it in the A21RB as well. The, uh, this one, uh, no. <laughs> Just no. Uh, th that's enough said. This is a terrible plane. For the rest, these two are also very skippable. I don't like the RA. It's a very terrible plane. Uh, not good in dives. I can't do anything but turn fight. But has a very lacking performance in the engine. And she's missing the 13.2s. Um, this one also very lacking in the performance. Now, it's a vampire, guys. I can be short and swift about that. Uh, put a talisman on the vampire. Unlock this, uh, these planes. Get to rank 6. Because I hear this one is better. She has missiles and she's more functional in that sense. And the A32s apparently are perfect planes. So I'm going to look forward to that. Hopefully it's better than rank 5, because rank 5 is definitely a rank to skip, apart from the Vampire, which is a joy to fly. I hope that's enough for you guys. This is my honest opinion, and uh, hopefully it will help you out as you go through this tree. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.